Du, du, du. Bom, 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 bom. Hi, I'm Sean. Let's talk about the moon. Look, space is pretty big, and sometimes it's hard to visualize these extreme distances. For instance, with a standard globe of the Earth, the Moon would be around 9 meters away. So, I'll be using a space simulator. This is Celestia. It's a few years old now, but it is exceptionally powerful, and it's free to download. I can use it to view the moons around Mars, a flyby of Jupiter, even the sun from outside the Milky Way galaxy. But let's stick with the Earth and the Moon. To begin with, we see the Moon a little differently depending where on the Earth we are standing. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Moon is this way, whereas in the Northern Hemisphere, it's this way. The Moon orbits around the Earth in the same way that the Earth orbits around the Sun. Like the Earth, the Moon also rotates, but it is tidally locked to the Earth, which means that it rotates at the same speed that it orbits. This means we always see the same side of the Moon. Here we can see the Earth in sunlight, so this side is in the daytime, and this half in shadow is in night. The line between the two is called the Terminator. Looking at the Moon, we can see its Terminator. The light side is the Moon's own daytime and the dark is the Moon's night. How the Moon looks to us on Earth we call the phases of the Moon. It takes 29 and a half days for the Moon to go through all of its phases from New Moon to Full Moon and back to New Moon. We are actually watching the Moon go through its own day and night though it takes 29 and a half Earth days. Huh, 29 and a half days, that's almost a month. Month. Monath. Menoth. Menoth. That's an old English word and it means moon. And it's where the name month is derived from. In fact, some cultures and religions define a month by the phases of the moon, like the Islamic and Jewish calendars. When it is on this part of the orbit, it is between the Sun and the Earth. Not only being close to the Sun in the sky makes it hard to see during the day, but the part in sunlight is facing away from us. We call this New Moon. Over the next few days, we'll begin to see it just after sunset as a crescent moon, getting larger and larger. We call this waxing. Eventually it gets to here. Not a half moon. Instead, we call this the first quarter. It is a quarter of the way through its cycle. Then it gets to here. We can now see the entire side that is in sunlight. The moon rises just as the sun sets. It is, of course, the full moon. We're on the home straight when the moon gets to here and it's in the part of the sky where we can see both the light and the dark side. We call this the last quarter. And finally, with the moon's dark side getting bigger and bigger, we call this waning, we get back again to the new moon. And there you have it, the moon's phases in a nutshell. New moon, first quarter, full moon, last quarter. New moon, first quarter, full moon, last quarter. New moon, first quarter, full moon, last quarter. New moon, first quarter, love, and watch out on the corner of 44th and Main, because I'm about to lose my lunch.